Hi guys, welcome to this module on Microsoft Project. What I want to look at in this section is how to link project data into an Excel file and vice versa, link data from Excel into project. So there's several different ways of doing it, so I'll have a few different options to show you. The first one though is straightforward paste link. So if I want this data to be in an Excel spreadsheet as an image, but linked, all I have to do is highlight the data, copy it, get myself into an Excel file, and then do use pay special. So pay special, paste link. It's going to come in as a object like so. So it's nothing you can edit as it is there in Excel but it is a live link. So if I go and change something in project, go back into project for a minute. So if I just put a figure there, one after that, that's a change, and then go back into Excel, that's been picked up there. Look, so it's a live link. So you could just give this to somebody. They've got an overall view of your, your project plan. It could be a summary plan you've just done this with, and they, they would see any changes immediate like, immediately like that. Now, if I just delete this for a second, so I think that's quite cool, that one. You can also just do copy and paste um, various elements. If I just highlight this data, just that much copy and just paste. But this is this is just um, a detached list. You would then be using doing this if you was going to use Excel to manage a project. But if you've got projects, it's not an advisable thing to do. So that is also something you can do. And... A third thing you can do is from project, you can use what's called a project map and map certain fields to go into Excel. So that's what I want to do now. And the way you do this is you go file, save as, browse. I'm going to put this on my desktop. Um, instead of having it as a project file, you select um, Excel workbook and then you save it. It's already there, so I'll just overwrite it. This wizard starts, and then you go through the wizard. Let's go to this. I'll create a new map so you can see how that process works. I want to do it just for tasks. If you ticked all of these options, you'd basically get three sheets in Excel. But you, you can do that if you want. But I'm just going to do the first sheet. And then next. And then it gets you basically to map your field. So, um, the First field is normally the ID field. And then I want um, name, start. Now there are some pre-set um, maps that you can pick. Duration, probably did that the wrong way around, but never mind. And um, percentage complete. That'll do for now. Um, next, I'm going to save that map. Call it Steve already got one there look save and then you can just go finish and then that will drop that onto your desktop I'll just minimize this and software implementation is there and when you open that there's your unformatted if i just widen this up so it's an unformatted spreadsheet and you will have to fix this list for example because it's coming in as text so it's basically store this or convert this to a number and then you can set that to a percent and that's what you've got data exported out like so you can also bring data back into projects from microsoft excel Just turn this off what you have to do is select the data now it has to be in the same order as the columns in project, otherwise it causes a bit of grief. So I'm just gonna miss out that column. So I'll just copy this data and then back into project. I've got myself a blank file. So I'm under the task name. So I'll go paste special and link. And now it's text data I want. So that should drop it in. I'm just gonna ignore that and just continue. Okay. And then it drops it in. It's um, put constraints on, so you'll have to go into advanced maybe to knock this off. Um, 
and then indent this stuff as you would normally do. But let's just go back into Excel and see what happens if we change any of this. So it's coming up there. Now, because I've messed about with that, let's just go back into Excel, change something. Let's change, um, let's change this. In fact, let's change that to three days. So you've got to put three days because it's going to be going into, back into project. So three days on that. And then it's changed there already. don't so that's gone to let's put that into auto scheduled so now let's pick that up let's just widen this a little bit so because this is linked you you can't um, edit the data I've just double clicked on that and it's brought me straight through to Excel if I go back into project um, this is a live link so whenever you do pay special in Microsoft it does exactly that if you double click on something it opens up the original source data but if I change something else in here so if I just say PO instead of PO received so I'm making a change and then back into project I should have picked that up and it has done now obviously this is a scenario where you've got people with projects and they want the functionality of project but most people have got Excel so rather than buying multiple licenses of Microsoft Project, you can just get people to update tasks in Excel. And if you've got them linked to various project files, the project files will update. But you can see on mine, uh, what's happening is this is automatically going back to um, manually scheduled all the time. So let me just check that again. If I just go back into, um, I'll just put one there and if I go back into project it will have updated it and it has put that back to manual schedule scheduling even though the days have not changed because the scheduling is not being driven by project it's being driven by Excel so you can just be aware of that and because that is the correct duration there five days for this project but again, it's totally up to you how you want to work that. So that's just a quick look at how you can link data from project into Excel and then from Excel back into project and with a few things that could possibly go wrong or you need to be aware of if you're going to do this. I think sending data from project and linking it into Excel is a, a good feature, doable. Coming back the other way from Excel into project, I'd be a bit more nervous if I was a project manager working in project that that data was accurate um, and I'd want to do, double check everything. But that's the end of this session. Hopefully you enjoyed that and I'll see you on the next one.